When you come to a crossroad and run into the winner and the quitter in you, listen to the winner. The quitter will never take you down the road you want to travel. I believe we all have a winner in us. There is a winner inside of you. Sometimes we just have been around negativity for way too long. Develop the mindset of a winner. The truth is, most people give up on their dream. Most people give up on their dream to live the average lifestyle. But it really doesn't matter what most people do. What do you do? Because you are different. You will never give up on your dream. You will never not listen to the average. You will always listen to the winner in you. You will believe in yourself when no one else does. You will believe in yourself when you have no reason to believe and you will never ever quit. I know some of you are going through a rough time right now. Some of you are going through the fight of your life, fighting for your future, fighting for your career, fighting for your family. Some of you are fighting for your life. And I'm telling you, don't quit. Do not give in. I know life can be tough. I know life can wear you down. But if you just stick it out, even if you don't get the result you will find, the character you show will be your reward. The fighting spirit you develop will be the reward, and it will serve you well for the rest of your life. Fight for what you want now, or fight against what you don't want later. You choose. Don't you dare quit. Don't you dare settle. Don't you dare get back down. Not today or any other day. When the tough moments come, never forget, you are in that moment writing your own legacy. In that tough moment, you are setting the standard for your character. Do you have the character? Well, do you? When you come up to a crossroad and run into the winner and the quitter in you, listen to the winner. When you make a commitment to yourself, you make sure you see it through. Never, ever quit. Even if you don't get the result, you will find the character you show will be your reward. Don't you dare quit. Don't you dare ever settle. And don't you dare ever back down. Fight for what you want or fight against what you don't want at a later time. And always know that God is right there with you. Just allow God to guide and direct you. And you will always be a winner. Good morning. Welcome to the Take Your Life Back Today show. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm your life coach, addiction recovery coach, and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today show. Folks, you can also see this on YouTube on channel Take Your Life Back Today show. If you go to the search bar on YouTube, you'll find it. Alcohol use disorder. When is drinking a problem, friends? Alcohol use disorder and other substances use problems are considered diseases like any other but are stigmatized as moral failure by many. Conversations about alcohol use have been center stage in national news. Stories about underage drinking, blacking out, and harmful behavior associated with alcohol use are quite common in many families around the world. The rise of opiate epidemic in the U.S. has rightly caught our attention, overshadowed as uh, a much more common problem. In the United States, from 2006 to 12, alcohol associated fatalities accounted for 88,000 deaths annually, or almost 10% of all U.S. deaths. While many people are becoming aware that medication-assisted therapy can help treat opiate use disorder, very few know that medication and counseling can significantly reduce alcohol use compared to with trying to cut back on your own. (laughs) What is an alcohol problem? Friends, in the U.S., 6.6% of alcohols reported heavy alcohol use and one in four people reported at least one episode of binge drinking. Binge drinking is defined as four or more drinks in one day for a woman and five or more for uh, a, a man. Friends, alcohol use disorder or AUD and other substance use problems are um, considered diseases like any other one, but are stigmatized as moral failure by many. The cause of AUD is a complex interaction between genes and environment with a strong association with other health uh, problems. In one uh, study, 77% of individuals with uh, AUD carried another medical problem, 
either cancer, liver, disease, pancreatitis, or other uh, psychiatric diseases such as depression, anxiety, bipolar disorder, or schizophrenia. A history of trauma, physical, verbal, and sexual abuse is also highly prevalent in the population. Even though genetics play an important role, exposure to specific life events and situations can significantly increase one, one uh, to seek comfort and reward using alcohol beverages. Recognizing alcohol use disorder, the awareness that alcohol use may be causing a problem does not come easy. Drinking is socially accepted in most places and is frequently used as a social lubricant. Patients are rarely seen coming forward to talk about drinking behaviors. The conversation is usually triggered by friends and family members who urge their loved ones to seek help as many do uh, not see their alcohol use as a problem. If you're unsure if you or your loved uh, someone has an alcohol problem, ask one question. How many times in the past year have you had five or, uh, or uh, four more drinks a day? A response equal to or greater than once identifies an average 8 out of 10 people with AUD. A positive answer should trigger a more thorough uh, 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 visit with a doctor or at least uh, stimulate a reflection about one's drinking behavior. Treating alcohol use disorder. As with many other chronic diseases, AUD treatment is not as straightforward as uh, taking antibiotics for pneumonia. However, there are several medications that can help patients deal with cravings and reduce drinking. Uh, folks, other drugs that are used off-label to treat AUD include namlefine, uh, baclofen, gabapentin, and uh, tripamate. Individual and group therapy may also help reduce binge drinking and increased absences. For some people, Drinking at night or on the weekend may feel like the only source of relaxation and comfort. It is not uncommon for people who suffer from anxiety and depression to drink to alleviate their feelings and emotions. The treatment of these psychiatric disorders may also help reduce the frequency and amount of drinking. Nonetheless, it may be hard to keep the motivation going. Relapses are uh, a common part of the disease and successfully overcoming AUD often depends on stability at work, adequate housing, hope for the future, and support from family, friends, and health system. <laughs> Don't be afraid to seek professional help if alcohol use defines who you are and is affecting your life and relationships. We now have several approaches that may lead to healing and recovery. A simple conversation with your doctor about whether or not uh, you have a problem with alcohol use uh, could be the first step toward a healthier and more fulfilling life. <coughs> Call me at 844-405-HELP. Together we can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves and always be good to each other. And a simple smile to a neighbor can help that neighbor for the rest of their life can change your life too. Remember, alcohol uh, is a disease and too much of it you will um, um, overcome uh, no obstacles at all. And through God, everything is possible. May God bless you. And we will talk to you guys real soon. Take good care. Bye-bye.